Hi, this is James from OnlineITGuide.com and what is a browser and why is your browser choice important? Now chances are you're viewing this video th on YouTube through the Internet Explorer browser that's included by default with Windows simply because that's the browser that's used the most often. But what does a browser do? To put it most simply, a browser simply interprets the web page and shows it to you how it, so it'll look the best on your screen. Now when the, the Internet first started out Basically, it was just text and links to other pages of text, and then pictures were added, and eventually multimedia. And the first browser that was relatively popular was Netscape. Um, and then Internet, um, Microsoft came out with Internet Explorer to compete with that once they saw the, the market of the Internet. But the uh, browser just interprets the language that a website is in. And if you're using Internet Explorer or Firefox, you can right-click on a web page and choose Open Source or View Source and you can see the language that page is written in and all it is is a bunch of text um, and instructions on how to show that text and where to get the images and multimedia that you see and it kind of is kind of vague as to where it's going to show that stuff because different computers have different size screens they have different operating systems and they might not even have the same fonts now a magazine publisher knows exactly what size page he's going to the, the page is going to be printed on Going to know, he knows exactly what type of paper it's going to be, and he can use, choose the fonts. But on the internet, on the web, we don't have that choice because we don't know what kind of computer it's going to be viewed on. So the browser has to kind of interpret it and try to make it look the best it can on your computer. Now, as what we do on the internet has gotten far more complicated than just reading text with links, so our browsers have gotten a lot more complicated. And that's where the problem is starting to show up, is that as different things have been added to browsers, it's allowed places for malware to sneak in and cause problems and to steal information because we now use our browsers for everything from watching video to doing our banking um, to even doing our medical records sometimes. And all that information, if it's not secure, can be captured by malware and sent to somebody else who might use it to do something nasty to you. So that's why choosing your browser is important because not all browsers are as safe as all as we would like them to be and some are safe but still are often targeted so uh, our next uh, my next video I'll be talking about the different browsers that are out there uh, some of the most popular ones and give you an idea which one might be the best one for you to use thanks a lot and if you found this video useful please give me a thumbs up on YouTube um, please visit my site online uh, onlineitguide.com and uh, have a great day